Hello, Super Zoom is an After Effects extension that transforms a series of images taken at different zoom levels into a seamless zoom animation, automatically aligned, warped, and linked. These images were captured at varying zoom levels. With just a few clicks, Super Zoom builds a complete zoom transition, from wide shot to ultra detail, without manual tweaking. We're adding the images to the timeline. Now we need to sort the layers based on their zoom level, from lowest to highest. This button performs automatic sorting, and pressing it again reverses the order. Now it's time to hit the go button. The extension processes each layer one by one, warping and aligning them to the reference image, then stitching them together and placing them in their final positions. The final layer acts as the controller. By default, two keyframes are set on the scale property, along with an expression that simulates exponential scaling. You can now freely create additional scale keyframes without any limitations. The images have been seamlessly stitched together. With this button, you can preview how each layer was warped. They've been precisely overlaid, so well aligned that it's nearly impossible to tell they were separate images. The final layer is precisely calibrated to match the height of the composition and is placed at the highest zoom level. Let's walk through another example. We import several images with different zoom levels into the timeline, then sort them accordingly. Once sorted, we hit the Go button, and as you can see, the scaling animates toward the final image with the highest zoom level. This button here reveals the original source images, without any feathering or masks applied, making it easy to review them in their raw state. From here, we can reposition as needed before finalizing the composition. Let's explore another example to demonstrate more features of the extension. As you can see, the generated images vary in color and lighting due to the different zoom levels they were captured with. When press the layer buttons, all layers above the selected one are temporarily disabled, giving us a clear view and full access to modify the active layer as needed, without interference from the rest of the stack. For each layer, brightness and contrast adjustments are available, allowing you to fine-tune them easily and independently. Now let's go back undo and try something smarter. If we enable the auto adjustment checkbox and hit go, the warped images are intelligently color matched and light balanced based on the reference frames. The result is a visually seamless composite. Everything looks much more unified and consistent. The extension performs stunning automatic color and lighting adjustments matching each image precisely to the previous one for a smooth visual flow. Here you can observe the accuracy and method of layer warping, forming a flawlessly unified visual surface that would be nearly impossible to achieve manually at this level of precision. Let's run a test with a large batch of images. These are screenshots captured from Google Earth. And we're now importing them into the timeline.
The details in the center look unnatural. By enabling this stepped opacity, each layer receives its opacity based on its placement in the frame. All upper layers start off transparent and gradually gain opacity depending on their presence and occupation within the screen. By enabling the wiggle checkbox and adjusting its settings, you can add a wiggle effect to the zoom motion. To make the movement feel more natural, activate motion blur. You can also control the rotation angle at the end of the zoom. This time, we'll run a test to explore manual zooming techniques on subjects, as well as merging two separate zoomed movements. Just like before, we sort the layers and hit the go button. Now I want to manually zoom onto these two objects. I'm adding the bird image to the timeline, then adjusting its position and scale inside the composition. By pressing the set anchor point button, the zoom behavior changes, focusing directly on the first layer. At the end of the movement, the bird is fully visible in the frame. Now we import the eye image and position it precisely in place. We set the zoom point on this layer. The eye fills the entire frame, but it might be better if it doesn't cover the whole screen. I go undo. And draw a mask around the area I want to use as the zoom frame. Now the zoom region is restricted to this masked zone. The key point is that the last mask drawn on the first layer determines the final zoom area. Let's bring in the earth zooming we created earlier and add it to this sequence. We select all its layers from start to finish, copy them. And paste them onto the current set. Next, we remove the controller layer's keyframes and disable its position expression. Finally, we position the earth precisely at the center of the bird's eye. We've seamlessly merged two zooming sequences, making it possible to create infinite zooms with pinpoint precision. This level of accuracy is simply unattainable when done manually. Just a one pixel misalignment at the start layer could cause a deviation of thousands of miles in the final frame. While clicking this button, you can observe the zoom progression, starting from a simple one times and gradually increasing until it reaches the final zoom level at the end of the movement. And ultimately, this zoom motion culminates in a magnification of 78 billion times zoom.
By clicking this button, you can enter a geographic location. The system will then automatically download images at multiple zoom levels from that point. The images have been successfully downloaded at staggered zoom levels and are now ready for warping, allowing you to generate a smooth zooming motion through those layers. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks so much for watching all the way through.